Hey you guys, this is Jeremy Taylor with Music Marketing TV and welcome back to part two of our six part series taking a look at Soundit 8 Pro. So today we're going to be doing processes. And processes is actually a more of a bread and butter thing, but it's a very important tool when you're editing audio. If we go here to our processes, we have everything from gain normalization to fades in and out. We can reverse the audio, insert silences, freeze the track, which is basically going to freeze your effects that you have on your mixer window or freeze your automation that you select. You can put your own effects from the plugins on your computer. You can use the audio restoration, removing DC offset, reverse the phase or polarity of a channel, and even change the left, right, center, and change the audio format. So for this, because we're kind of doing something for film, what was requested is we're going to need to add some silence. So I'm going to go to the beginning. And the first thing they said is they want some silence in the beginning. So we just go to insert silence. We insert at cursor position. They want about two seconds. And we're going to do both left and right. Hit OK. Next, we're going to go one more time. And we're going to do insert at end. And we're going to give it a five second hold time. That way, they have lots of time to process whatever is going on for the transition. Now, next, we're going to also want this fade in to kind of come in a little slow and a little gradual because what this is supposed to do is it's supposed to slowly have a transition and then boom, it's supposed to pop in to audio. So let's see how this sounds without anything. Now let's listen to the end to see what we need to do there. So the first thing I'm noticing is that the ending needs a lot of work, which will be quite easy to do. The second thing I want to do is I'm going to actually highlight the intro Go into processes, fade in, and we're going to do a pretty aggressive fade in. And we're going to make sure it ends at about 80% because we want the whole intro to be kind of quiet. And then when it completely goes into the picture, it's going to be loud and booming. So hit OK. And there we go. Let's listen to that now. That sounds good to me. Now, next, we're going to need to fade out this whole section here. I want to grab about where the drums start kind of hitting off. We're going to end right at the beginning of the fade out. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to fade out. We want to make this linear. It's going to start at 100%, end it at zero, and maybe even have a gradual slope to it. We hit OK, and let's see what that gives us. Cool. That's pretty good, but I feel like it's a little bit too aggressive because of that little gradual slope. So we're going to go into fade out one more time and we're going to keep it nice and linear like I thought it should have been in the very beginning. Just a touch at the end and here we go. Perfect. Now, next what we're going to do is we're going to highlight this. We're going to make sure there's no DC offset. Now, when you select remove DC offset, it'll actually scan this and tell you how much of an offset you have. All you have to do is remove it, and there you go. Now, what we can do if we want to be really crazy is we can just reverse the phase or invert the phase of the left channel to make sure this song is actually in phase with itself. Yep, it definitely sounds better without the phase inversion. So now we'll just undo that. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to look at the gain. Now, all you have to do is hit detect, and it'll actually tell you how much your peak is. So we can actually gain this up if we want to. But I don't think that's a smart idea for this one. Let's go for normalization. Let's have our peak level reach about minus 3.5. Hit OK, and let's take a listen. Perfect. All I have to do is save that and we're done. You also have the ability to change or swap your left, right, and center channels, but we're not going to need that for this. So that'll be it for this video. Stay tuned for our next video where we'll go over more of the in-depth effects and mixer tools that are available to you here in Soundit 8 Pro. This has been Jeremy Mateo with Music Marketing TV, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.